James Wyatt is the lead story designer at Wizards of the Coast for Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition, and he's agreed to come on once again on the Game Radio Zero. James, thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. So I understand you have um, the title credit here on this Dungeon Master's Guide. I do, kind of by a weird stroke of fortune. Really? So how did that happen? Well, I was assigned to a writing phase on the book. Um, I ended up doing a whole lot more writing during that phase than I expected to. Um, but I was still building on a lot of really solid groundwork, particularly from our development team, but by uh, Chris Sims, who really set a tone and direction for the, the approach of the book, and Dave Noonan, who did a lot of mechanical work pre-development as well. So the cover credit is mine, and I worked for it. <laughs> <laughs> so my, but, go ahead. the question I have, I have the player's handbook, I have the monster manual, I have this other stuff, Really? Why do I need to buy the DMG? I mean, why? Why? I think I think there's. Well, there you're a dungeon master, right? No, I'm a dungeon master. Why do I need? You the... need to buy the DMG. Why? Because, as much as you probably already know about running a game of D&D, there's so much uh, advice in here, um, as well as a real insight into the the fourth edition mentality. I just had a meeting with a bunch of RPGA adventure writers about the the kind of design philosophy and adventure philosophy of uh, fourth edition. And we really are looking at things differently. Um, it's a, a, an approach that's much friendlier to new DMs uh, and puts a lot more emphasis on putting together a fun game for your players. Um, and the book is chock full of stuff that's going to help you do that, both kind of at an advice level and at a nitty gritty mechanical level. There's the last chapter of the book is the DM's toolbox, and it's full of how to build a monster, how to customize a monster in 18 different ways. It's, that's where the templates live, rather than in the monster manual. If you want to turn an NPC into a lich, that's the, the chapter for you. How to build NPCs, um, both mechanically and story-wise. Um, random dungeon generation, random encounter generation, that, that is the, the DM's toolbox is really the only word for it. It's the thing you open up and pull out whatever you need for the job. So even a very experienced Dungeon Master, which I am not, but I'm hamming it, up, <laughs> hamming it up for the camera. Even a very experienced Dungeon Master with 20 years of experience running all kinds of campaigns and understanding the rules is going to find some real value in this toolbox section, if not that, in many other sections as well. And certainly in the many other sections as well. And I'm not going to claim that I'm the world's best Dungeon Master. Um, I learned an enormous amount in writing this book because I kept going to other people who uh, and asking for advice. So I feel like it's it's really a collection of gamer wisdom um, pull, pulled from a lot of other places, but really pulled together in a really accessible and friendly way. You mentioned the templates. That's something I've heard a lot of buzz about. People have been really impressed with that. So what is it that people are really excited about these templates, and what is it people need to know that, to understand what they're missing if they don't buy the DMG? <laughs> so in third edition, a monster template was, some, was like a rainy day activity, right? You could sit down and take a monster, and uh, apply three different templates to it and really spend your afternoon carefully crafting this. Fourth edition has a very different approach to it. My, the, the way I tried to think about templates as I was working on original design and, and uh, writing after development was done with them is to think about what can I put on a post-it note and stick on the, my monster manual page that's gonna change the monster in an interesting way. So if I turn, say, uh, Elf Mage, from the monster manual into a lich. I can write just a couple of things down, modifications and, and extra things onto a post-it note, stick it in my elf mage page in the monster manual, and run an elf lich. Um, I think that's pretty cool. That, that is pretty, that's pretty neat. I mean, that's pretty cool. And you got, and that was something you're able to, that was a goal, and you guys were able to deliver on that. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to let you get back to all the festivities here. James Wyatt, lead story designer at Wizards of the Coast for Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition. Thanks again for coming on GRZ. Thanks.